In this episode, we will explore the Sikmalaya West Java, where creativity never dies. In this city, the simple thing turns amazing. Come see the beauty. 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 Only on Sea Indonesia. The pearl from inside of West Java, that is the perfect nickname of a city that we will explore this time. Tasikmalaya, West Java. Pearl is chosen to represent the city persona because of its important role in the economic sector, especially creative economic in southern side of West Java. This town entices visitors to see the city in a simple yet beautiful way, such as taking a silent tour. This is Mr. Husby, our deaf guide today. He is excited to share more about the city using the hand sign language. And this girl is Miss Anisa. She is the guide and also the translator for today's tour. Anisa will translate the sign language that has been delivered to the participants. And the introduction starts from the iconic statues located in the square of Tasik Malaya. Maero and Abdul Rosa statues. Kita akan mulai untuk melihat tubu yang ada di alun-alun. Tubu ini merupakan salah satu pahlawan ya di kota Tasik. Yang pertama itu seorang perempuan namanya Maero. Kenapa dia diabadikan? Karena pada saat ia berusia 51 tahun, ia membuat sebuah saluran air dari batu kapur selama kurang lebih 45 hari. Nah, sedangkan untuk yang laki-lakinya itu yaitu Abdul Rojak, diceraikan oleh seorang istrinya. Kenapa? Karena ia bersikuku untuk membuat terowongan saluran air juga yang akan disalurkan ke sawah-sawah warga dan dia dibantu oleh 16 orang untuk mengerjakan hal tersebut. They were both farmers who turned a limitation into an unlimited resource, allowing water to flow into fields and save farmers from drought. Because of their efforts, Maero and Abdul Rosa received an award in preserving the environment in Tasik Malaya. Salon Tour is a collaboration of Metamorfosa Indonesia Tasik Malaya community with Katara Travel Agent, running since June 2022. Anissa said that the main purpose of the Salon Tour is to give the opportunity for deaf friends to get involved in the society and become financially independent. They hope that this tour can also turn Tasik Malaya City into a disability-friendly city. And here's our last destination of the tour, the Grand Mosque of Tasik Malaya City. We gather in the yard of the mosque to practice the sign language. Starts from the alphabet and self-introduction. Bye. 
facial expression is also important when we are communicating with the deaf friends. The expression helps them understand the message you deliver. Funny. The community transforms a simple concept of a city tour into an enjoyable and meaningful tour that me and all participants will never forget. Talking about economic creativity, the Sigmalaya city is famous for its handicraft. One of them is this decorative umbrella that I carry, called Bayungulis in Sundanese language, which means beautiful umbrella. It used to be carried by upper-class women, like me, for example. <laughs> Just pretend you don't hear it. Okay, now let's take a look to the beginning. Started from the pioneer of the Bayungelis Gallery, Karya Utama. This beautiful lady is Maia, or Grandma Ia. She is the only painter in the gallery. She has become the painter of Bayan since 1965 and never stopped until today. And she will show me one of her favorite patterns, which is rose. She says that rose represents the Sigmalaya because it is beautiful. Kalau misalnya ngelukis kayak gini teh, suka digambar polanya dulu atau ini kan langsung Enggak, udah digambar polanya dulu? Enggak, pola dari hati emak iya. Oh. Langsung kena payung. Jadi dicurahkan dari iya. hati. Yang diingat apa gitu ya emak iya. iya. Yang diingat sama emak iya. This is why she is called the living legend. Bayangkulis was brought from China to Indonesia since 1923. Today's umbrella has been through some modification due to the expansion of the function. The old canopy of Bayangkul is used to use paper as the material, while today's material is using satin fabric. It is because the gallery wants to make stronger durability of the umbrella, so people can use it not only for a decoration, but also for daily activities. Ooh, look at this masterpiece. Like she only takes 10 minutes to create this beautiful painting with all the details and the colorful color and this cute flower. I think I can make one pioneer to take home. Beauty beauty only on seeing Indonesia. So, what am I doing now? I am creating my own payungkulis. With all the sweat dripping, I am really working on pouring my imaginative rose to the canopy. And it all paid off, Maya is finally having a rifle. A new living legend is born. Look at this one. This is my masterpiece. Isn't it gorgeous? Okay, I'm not good at lying. Let's see the reality. I want you to know that I wasn't born to be a painter. So yeah, don't hope too much for the result. And of course, it took more than 10 minutes to finish all the paintings. So this is exactly what happens. Maia willingly corrects my paintings, and that's how I got my beautiful payungulis. 
she is so nice. Looks like an angel, but I don't know why. I feel so nervous being supervised by the living legend. She said that my painting is beautiful. A beautiful eye. <laughs> This is Mr. Sandy, the third generation who runs the gallery. He is currently creating the frame for Payunglis. Since the gallery opened in 1971, Payunglis has an ups and downs, but he decides to preserve the heritage by continuing the gallery that almost closed in 2017. Therefore, introducing the culture from the early stage to our next generation is very important to nurture the culture. Harapan saya budaya harus dilestarikan itu kan untuk untuk anak-anak supaya ada mulok lah gitu kan di sekolah-sekolah khususnya kota Tasik dan umumnya mungkin bisa merambah ke kota-kota yang lain. Gitu. Jadi supaya kota lain juga tahu bahwa ada kebudayaan yang harus dijaga di kota Tasik ini seperti payung gelis. Karya Utama is trying to keep up with the trend by making customized payung gelis from different materials. With a touch of creativity, Sandy hopes Payunggalis will get more attention of people without losing its charm. People in Tasik Malaya City is giving their best in preserving Payunggalis in their own ways. This time, Mayan Binangit Dance Studio maintains it through dancing. Bayungkelis dance is a creative dance, meaning that it doesn't have a rigid role like traditional dance. The moves can be anything, depend on the creator's creativity. So that is why you will find different Bayungkelis moving from one dance studio to another. And this Bayungkelis dance version of Sanggar Birangket is inspired by traditional dance, Ketuktilu dance, and martial art movement Pecak Silat. This is the founder and also the coach, Miss Fifit. I decided to join the squad and she is happy to teach me the moves. Because I'm not a dancer, it will take forever to learn all the moves. So she decided to teach me the easiest part. Couldn't agree more. She says that this dance is for everyone. Young and adult can learn this because the movement is not that complex compared to traditional dance. Well, let's see. She says that the key is to relax, get your body moving to the music's rhythm. Sorry. Miss Fifit created by English dance since 2004. Because it's more fun, people tend to choose creative dancing rather than traditional one. Harus sering diperkenalkan ya, karena mungkin anak muda sekarang kadang-kadang gengsinya itu tinggi. Untuk tarian tradisional mereka kurang begitu minat, tetapi setelah sekian apa perkembangan zaman mereka juga akhirnya bisa mengikuti karena 
tari tradisional juga tidak kalah dengan tarian yang modern lainnya. Slow but sure, both creative and traditional dance are heading to the same mission to get the culture closer to people. So people are aware of their roots, even better, actively preserve it. Culinary is one of the must-do activities when visiting a city. And thank God, Tasik Malaya is famous for its cuisine that has been a legend for decades. One of them is Haji Zena Porridge. Well, let's start this wonderful day in this wonderful city with a simple breakfast. A wonderful porridge. Haji Zena Porridge has been open since 1969. What makes this porridge famous is because of the texture of the porridge that is denser compared to the other porridge and of course the delicious taste. The price range from 25 until 30,000 rupees with full and half portion choices. It is actually quite pricey than other porridge, but people say it is worth the price. Let's prove it. Well, so I heard a rumor that they are really famous because of the premium toppings and also the big portion. So I decided to order the half portion of the porridge. And this is what I got. It's just more than enough for me. Let's taste it. The porridge already tastes savory without putting anything to the plate. The piece of chocolate and shredded chicken as the topping is larger than the other porridge stalls. The best decision that I ever had. I wonder why people come in here. It's really good. Delicious. I think I'm gonna be full until the next dinner. No need to wait for dinner because I am going to eat another legendary culinary of Tasik Malaya. Nasi tutuk oncom benhil or benhil rice mixed with mashed fermented beans. Nasi tutuk oncom benhil has been opened since 1969. Let's look around and see it's, it's almost full. Well, I think I get why people are coming here because um, the tutuk oncom itself is uh, savory and then you mix it by the sambal that has a sweetness and a spice in it. So, it has a good combination in your tongue when you taste it. A good choice for a breakfast. My belly is full, so let's continue the journey. Creative city, Tasik Malaya is also well known as a transit city. Tasik Malaya Trend connects West and East Java, which passes every day in this rail track. And below the rail track, there is a bridge named Chirahong Bridge that has aged more than 100 years. This bridge was built in Dutch colonial era. And the bridge is more than just a connection. It's a cultural heritage building which connects two regions, Tasik Malaya and Chiamis. Without this bridge, the economic activities will be disrupted. I decided to pass the bridge, and it's quite scary because of the old structure. That is why since 2021, four-wheel vehicles cannot pass this bridge. Mingled with a crowd of two wheels passing by, there is a man, Mr. Ochi, a photographer who captured this hustle and bustle moment in the morning. Uh, 
along with his friend Mr. Irham, they come from the same photographic community named Kolom Imaginer. And I am gonna be their model today. I try to imagine myself as a Victoria's Secret model, but ended up like a mannequin. Of course, this is for professionals only, okay? Under the professional supervisions, and you need to do it carefully. Just pass by, and then when there's like uh, this empty moment, then you try to do a photo shoot again. Okay, istirahat dulu, ada motor. Boleh di pinggir, gitu. Cool. You need to see the result. Come here. Mr. Archim believes that everyone, no matter what camera they use, they can capture a good moment. So now he is about to teach me that. Kalau aku lebih memilih agak bawah ini teh, karena lebih berhasil secara. Apalagi bisa dibalik gini teh, kalau misalnya gini ya. betul, jadi perspektifnya bisa lebih lebar lagi, bisa lebih luas lagi. You also can try the high angle. With a touch of creativity, Ojim and his friends from photography community successfully captured Tasik Malaya in an appealing way. So people are interested to visit the city. Like this Chirahong Bridge, for example, it is not only a photo object, but it has a personal history for Ojim. Punya nilai historis sendiri untuk saya gitu lewat jembatan ini lewat karya foto saya di jembatan ini bisa membawa saya ke ujung barat sampai ke ujung timur Indonesia gitu waktu itu karena saya orang yang cukup aktif untuk ikutan lomba ya teh dan beberapa foto saya di Ciraung ini mengantarkan saya jadi pemenang di beberapa lomba yang akhirnya saya bisa apa ya punya kesempatan gitu untuk berkeliling di tempat-tempat yang saya belum pernah kepikiran sebelumnya bakal ke situ. Sebenarnya dari situ banyak juga teman-teman yang pada akhirnya tahu lewat saya atau lewat orang-orang yang memang ngepost di jembatan ini dan akhirnya eksposurnya pun lebih besar dan banyak orang-orang luar kota yang tertarik hanya untuk memotret eh, jembatan ini. People say limitation is a bird that will never grow. And these people I meet are willingly to grow. <laughs> Creativity is only the clothes they wear. But the one who moves the body is their big spirit that pushes them to move forward. For themselves, their surroundings and their city. <laughs> <laughs> 